and Snapcaster Major for Kevin Jones at his triple death rate shaman. 14, 13, life total is fairly even here. Looks like a pair of cards in hand for Kevin Jones. A few more for King, and that's what happens when you when you're the player with Leovold. <laughs> Kevin, one of his one of Jones's cards is Jace the Mind Sculptor. It looks like the other one is Fatal Push. So on end step, Kevin's gonna, Kim, Jones will continue to eat away at King's Graveyard using Death Rite Shaman. King drops to 12. There are three black sources in play for Jones. So he, I guess this is a two-turn clock if there are six sorceries. One, two. Well, there are it's four in his own graveyard. Yeah, five. I, I think he can do it. He just says go. I think Jones is trying to burn him out with Death Rite Shaman. It certainly looks like it. That's awesome. <laughs> Death Rite Shaman is not reasonable, by the way. Yeah, Birds of Paradise, <laughs> it just burns your opponent out from 12. It's great. This card's fine. Ooh, oh, big draw for Kevin King here. Engineered and explosives off this brainstorm. Oh, yeah. Whoa, that is, that is going to do some work. All right. Three for one's not bad. Well, not, I mean, not losing. <laughs> I like that part of it, too. To not losing the game, it might even just be a game-winning draw. Jones's hand was Jace, Fatal Push. You don't know the third card in it. But it looks like King has a Red Blast to back it up. Engineered Explosives on one. Yeah, it's, red, it's a Pyroblast, a Jace, and a Fatal Push from Jones. This is not what he wanted to see. No. It's about worst case scenario for Jones, actually. Engineering Explosives is activated. So Jones gets one more shot off these end, these Death Rate Shamans. One, two, three. Looks like he's going to go ahead and go with the graveyards. Do you want to deal damage, I guess, or gain life? Well, he only has one green source, right? Just a tropical island? Yeah. So yeah, at, yeah. first at, two at damage is easy. Two. Yeah. So King, not going to lose. We get Kevin's going for two cantrips. See what he wants to do with the third. Yeah, he'll gain life with the last one, eating Snapcaster Mage. Now that it's not a two-turn clock, Ken, Kevin Jones is more concerned with his own life total. Right. And King has Jones's Mind Sculptor covered here with a blast. There's a fatal push taking care of King's Leovold that's going to draw King a card. Baleful Strix for Kevin King. That'll draw him another card. Leovold card continues to impress, especially in these control mirrors. One. So he's down on life points. He continues to make inroads on Kevin Jones's life total. So we go back to Jones. He's got a red blast and a Jace as he draws here. King's hand, though, at least one red blast, if not two. It's going to be hard for Kevin Jones to resolve a Jace. Yeah. And Jones does have his own red blast, but that can't fight over a red counter war. Jace the Mind Sculptor, that'll get hit by red elemental blast immediately. That hits the graveyard. And you can tell that Kevin King has played a lot of Legacy. He's moving yeah, very, very quickly. quickly. Definitely the motions of an experienced player. Well, he already has a win in this mirror over Oliver, too. It's not often that you get to to win that and then one against Kevin Jones. Yeah. yeah. That's a tough bracket to be in. Hits Jones down to 10. Jones's hand looks like to be a Pyroblast and a Fetch Land. And Kevin King, generally known as a lands player, but showing that he's no slouch with the blue cards either.
And Kevin King tries his own Jason Mind Sculptor. That one, too, gets hit by a blast. But unlike in this situation, Kevin King still has creature advantage. Swings in for three. Jones, a fetch land, passes. Looks like both players with no cards in hand except for more red blasts. A lightning bolt is in Kevin Jones's hand. Can't red blast that one. Kevin King is down to six. If Jones draws another lightning bolt, it's a red card. It's another pyroblast. And there are exactly two lightning bolts in Jones's list. It would be quite the draw. He will bolt the death right shaman then. And we pass back. Seven and six are life totals. Eight, just 1830 remaining. Jace tried at by King. A pyroblast counters it. Three more. Kevin Jones is down to four. Needs a draw here, though. Our good card off the top. Snapcaster Mage. Now, I believe there's still some red blasts left in King's hand. Kevin will put him to the test, though. He's going to attempt to brainstorm. This should be enough to get some action from Kevin Jones. Mm -hmm. Snapcaster Mage in response to Brainstorm and another Pyroblast by King. Resolves the Brainstorm. Flusterstorm in, re in hand along with another Pyroblast. That should be enough to cover Kevin Jones's last draw step. He puts him to one, says go. It's going to be one more draw from Kevin Jones. This is four color control. It's not miracles. He can't terminus his way out of this one. No. Draws here. Last card, not going to do it. And so Kevin King, 2-0, wins the mirror, improves to 7-1, and one, and that locks him up for day two. A Very experienced yeah, pilot. A scrappy mirror, really. What, the, the making a 1-1 uh, uh, that can't 